Good morning. Happy weekend. Do you even know if your plants listen to you? I'm gonna do it. Do they yeah. miss you, Tell man? Them. Do they miss you, bro? Oh, that- uh, it goes hand in hand. I like to tell them what to do. If they, they, they if they listen to me, then they're gonna miss me when I'm not talking to them. But today, today on today, on Dude Grow Show, man, we gotta wake and bake a little more here. Get straightened out. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about plants being in the grow. A little grow talk. What's going on in my grow? Scott has got some good articles here about. We always talk about man. It is I, the plants have to miss you, Scotty, because they are alive. They do sense things. We talk about plants talking to each other in nature sending out signals we just covered it on the live panel show you guys just missed some science if you missed the live panel show on monday go check that show out it was good when one plant gets bit it sends out a signal to the other plants so cool stuff hey did you not smoke it no i'm about to it's gonna be a secretive you should right here you should man banner what's up hey good morning <laughs> yeah Ooh, banner's yeah. right man Grambino. Yo. Did you get your head straight, man? I did, man. The drive up here uh, Saturday mornings are brutal with traffic. I don't know why. Attitude adjustment. My redneck friend in Florida calls it an attitude adjustment. He goes, I got to get me an attitude adjustment. Oh, edibles do that to me. <laughs> Every time I take edibles, I become a better person. It's weird. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, I want to like answer my phone and talk to people. Huh, <laughs> I exist. Edibles over ambient. Okay, that's going to be Ooh. my hashtag. Where somebody, as one I cat this morning, was we were talking about doing weird stuff in your sleep and i was like with ambient remember people used to get up and go to the drive through or they would cook breakfast or something they'd wake up there'd be a bunch of pots and pans and be like, what, what happened yeah yeah eat edibles instead all right yes um no maybe it depends they're not for everybody <laughs> man it depends on how for me like i have the issue like i said with edibles depending on a ratio when i start to lose my freaking hearing a little bit and get a little just, oh, I got to sit down. I get to, I got to sit down mode. <laughs> Do me a favor, man. Let's all just have fun and rate our tolerance on a scale from one to 10. I got to okay. be nine, I would think, man. I'm I just not, smoked an entire joint by myself, you know, <laughs> just to feel normal. But if you get high, I would say that's, you know, that's fairly low tolerance. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what about you, Banner? You? Uh, I would go a little lower than that. Yeah, I would think so too. Yeah. Is seven on the tolerance scale? I mean, you sure. can pretty much keep your stuff together with smoke. Yeah. 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 All right, Grambo, you're a nine or a 10, bro. You're a 10. I, sometimes I feel like a nine until then I hang out with a guy like Tanazi or something. He's just like chain smoking dabs. And I'm like, maybe I'm not a nine. No. Okay. <laughs> Are you, yeah. How many milligrams of edibles do you eat? Uh, I've gotten it down to, you know, I've been trying to eat like, 200 is like my regular, but sometimes I get like four, four or 500. Yeah. I feel bad. I said we'd all decide ourselves, but we should all decide on the dude. What do you think the dude's tolerance is, man? Oh, dude's, <laughs> dude's going to be the lowest. Yeah. I'm saying a three, bro. And that's a respectable three. Oh, I'd kill for a three. Yeah. Because you get high. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, nah. Man. What do you think, I dude? I give dude at what least a six. Him, man. A six? Five like, or a six. Can you smoke a bowl and get high? Just an LA. I mean, it's uh depends also on the day. You know, the, the GDC cup, I'm like a 10 out of 10, baby, because ever the <laughs> right. amyloid systems like saturated right. out. Yeah, like, like when, there's no more room. When I hang out with dude, it's it's like he's yeah. going, he's keeping up with everybody. It's not a diss, it's actually a, a type of compliment because it means that you've kept your tolerance down enough to really get the the most effect. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely enjoy. That's why I said a lot of people enjoy or not fiend for, but the first toke of the day, you know, is usually going to be a pretty effective one. Pretty big. me. <laughs> but the first toke of the day is an entire joint for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a little much. The worst is hanging out. I hang out at high C and he doesn't really smoke at all. And the volcano bags, you got your choice of three foot, or four foot. Of course, I'm like, I'll take the four Of you're going to fill it up. A four-foot volcano bag, trying to do that by yourself is like a, a half-hour session. And, you know, it's ridiculous. That's why you're always pushing it on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Scott does push the, he's like, hey, man, when I hit this volcano bag, he hands you like a phone book of That smoke. is like a tolerance training. It's like right a body there. pillow, bro. <laughs> it is. It's a body <laughs> pillow of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's all right. Hey, look, dude, me, if I'm going to fire one up on the after show, I will. It's behind me. All right. You do that. Let's get into this, man. I've been spending a lot of time in the grow, and I do believe 
I hope I can say the plant <laughs> actively miss you. But if you're not there, like first thing I want to get into the grow after the first thing I do is water everything. Time to water. Lights are on. It's time to water. That, that's first order of business, of course. Make everybody happy. Then I sit on my rolly stool, which I encourage everybody to get one of these little rolly Agreed. stools. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Awesome yeah, the to have in the grow. And uh, put on some tunes on my Bluetooth speaker. That's my signal that the plants then definitely know I'm there because their nature music that usually plays has now changed to whatever I'm listening to. Some Ben Harper, whatever. Uh, this all started by me talking to dude yesterday, and he's just chilling in his grow. Dude, you are mellow, and you are mellow. Wait, what, what kind of nature music? Like thunderstorms, ocean chirping. waves. It's, I had birds chirping in the background. Birds. Ah, Jared, Jared had to tell me to turn them off the other day. I was in there. He's like, too much birds, dude. So it's just one of those kind of switch. You can go from waves to birds to Whoa. nighttime sound with frogs and you need stuff. Insects. Anybody can get it. That's cool. Can we talk just the science? I used to be like, oh, yeah, okay, well, that has to be science. You're breathing CO2. And I think it is a lot more than that, though. I, plants do live as a community. We learn that there's companion plants. There's the mycorrhizal network. There's uh, plants that let off a smell to warn other plants, signaling plants. So they are in community. And when you put them all you know, is it homogeneous there? You know, you got nine plants that are exactly the same. They're all twins. You know, what, what are you going to do? Man, so it's not that exciting for them. If, if they can do all of that, should I be concerned that they know that we're going to smoke them? But maybe that's all they want to do. They're only supposed to live. They're annuals, man. They're programmed to be like, I'm anthropomorphizing it. They probably don't think like that. But, um, dude, they're only meant to live 100 days, no matter what. Oh, no, I guess so. Uh, no matter what. I don't smoke in the grow anymore. I decided that they know. <laughs> it's like, like can't right? Stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> can they detect the, they can detect their ancestors. I did not the, think about that. Uh, it, I was just thinking it could be called cannibals, cannabisalism. Oh, <laughs> Kid's actually funny, you know that about that move? I just, I was, uh, tell jokes for yeah, man, you spend a lot more time in your grow. I will go, I got the stool. It's right on the other side of this wall. So I will go there and chill a lot. And I'm mostly looking. I'm looking really hard for deficiencies. I'm trying to uh, just I got a bunch of new stuff going on there with the new real buckets and the uh, grow dots, the more magnesium grow dots. So I'm over there more tweaking and looking for nutrient deficiencies and looking at leaves and all that, making sure my environment is dialed in. But I'm not really messing with the plants too much, man. We're hanging out. Do you have a loop? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. You always got to keep. Them. Does that have a light on it? Of course it does. Do you? Man. Okay. All right. Banner, you, I bought 50 of these on Alibaba. Actually, do you use the light? Do you find it useful? No, because it's so bright in my grow. That's true. And then do you find that it had, did yours have two different lights? It does, man. These were $3 on Alibaba. <laughs> All right. So is that just a high and a low or is it a different color? Oh, man. Um, oh, now I can't see anything. It is uh same color. Okay. Same color. It looks like it just says, I always on. had a tough time with those lights. Yeah, you know what? But a jeweler's loop for, you know, probably getting it for eight or nine dollars on them on Amazon are so valuable. And what are you looking oh, for? No, man, Grambo. I you cannot mean? believe that's what got us in trouble last time, Grambo. Uh, yeah, it's for you guys that don't know. Uh, we got an episode a hundred episodes ago, got age restricted, and they gave us a link telling us what it was. And it, it was just me doing that. It was silly. Yeah, so we're trying to play the game. Uh, we do have the after show. We're throwing some effort into that so we can actually hang out and show some weed. Yes. So uh, please join us on that or please join us. House, on I got a beautiful picture of my canopy. I was so excited to show. And you're like, ah, ah, wait, wait. The after show. <laughs> and it yeah. was. It, it's a great picture. So tune in for the after show. Dude, you're killing it. Hey. <laughs> Warehouse Kyle That's just uh, texted hey, what, me, man. What, what happened to your eyebrows? Oh, yeah, so dude, good, your eyebrows Rambo. are so thin, man. Everybody loves that. <laughs> do, do you trim them down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, for everyone, that, I, oh. I didn't do that. Everyone's like, Grandpa doing the VFX. I was like, nope, that's a dude original. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was a good right. time. So I wanted to that say great. that uh, while talking about the after show, DDC producers log into Patreon. Um, on the top of our recent post, you can click collections and there's playlists in there. That's where we're putting our after shows. You don't know what we're talking about. Become DGC, man. Dudegrows.com forward slash reports where you can gain access. We're not going to list it all right now, but stay tuned. And I'm in my grow. I did want to talk. Can I do a little quick grow talk? I'm talking about my grow. Absolutely. You know what, man? Let me kick up a Malibu splash really quick. Oh, no. He popped it. <laughs> ah. 
Come on, let's party, man. Let's party. It's Saturday. I got 48 of these coming from Amazon. We'll be here in four hours, bro. All right. So nice. You, you order no, out just kidding. on Amazon. Camera tricks, man. It's camera tricks, bro. Yes. It's a collector's item. All right. Drizzly, bro. You want drizzly? Drizzly. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, to talk about my humidity struggle quickly, um, oh. Scotty. Right now, I can tell you my nighttime humidity. Lights are off. Is at let's see here. What do you keep your nighttime humidity at? Same as day? Do you go sixties yeah, all around? Three sixty three all around, and it is amazing. I just went in there. It just pulls the exact amount of water that it's uh, that it takes, and I just dump it right into that real bucket reservoir. Yeah, I wait till I have a real bucket as my as my water reservoir to catch all the uh, dehumidifier water, and it goes zoop, zoop, and reclaim. It's, it's reclaim, bro. It's amazing. Well, zoop, zoop, huh? Zoop, zoop. Okay, right now my the zoop, zoop. My, night, my nighttime humidity is at fifty five percent, which I'm totally fine with that. So. To achieve that, and during the day, I do want 63, 64, 65 at the most. He's changing, so to, right? I mean, he is technical dude. Now, man. <laughs> going to come up with some, every, it all changed when he got that pulse out. It dude. did, man. It did. To, which, yes, is just staring me down right now. So I'm like, sweet. He's it's obsessed, 70, 71 in the grow. It's 55% humidity. I'm totally fine with that. But to achieve that, so at nighttime, your, tra- your plants transpire, right? The more humidity is coming out, there's going to be more humidity to deal with in the grow, at least from what I'm finding, because to get that nighttime humidity levels that I want, I have to turn my dehumidifier down a few more points to keep up. But then during the day when the lights turn on, my humidity is going down to like 49, 52. So therefore, that being said, I can't constantly every night, you know, when the lights go off at 6 a.m., go in there and turn it down a few clicks. But it's a career sh- commercial de- dehumidifier. It's uh, big enough for the size. It's doing its job, but it wants, to, I need it to run lower. So there's where my daytime, nighttime humidity uh, controller Different. comes into play. Yeah. Wow, man. But you're it's, achieving both do we separate. Need that? Uh, do we need that, dude? I have a question. Yes, better. Hey, uh, on your uh, dehumidifier, is it uh, running all the time? The dehumidifier will be running. So a dehumidifier typically cycles. Like for mine, it'll turn on, it'll run the air through. It's not dehumidifying yet. It senses it's got too much humidity. Boom, the compressor kicks on, gets it to the set point that you want, and then everything turns off. So it's like a fan. It, so you three minutes later, it'll turn back on. It has a three-minute downtime. Which, man, a, that is bad, man. That's called short cycling your compressor. You don't want to compress them. My old man was an AC repairman, okay? You don't want that thing turning on and off all the time. It will kill your compressor when you have a compressor or dehumidifier. So it does by design, though. It's, it's in, within its own programming. So yeah, it knows three what minutes is the doing. minimum. That's what it's supposed to do, worst case scenario. Not all the time. Well, okay. Uh, go ahead. It's like flooring my V6 all the time, man. Sounds fun. It is fun, but I'm definitely <laughs> trading that any car. car you had. Come on, let's be honest. Okay, so no, what I'm really trying to get at is, so you're setting the humidity level, and then it is basically targeting that and then shutting off, right? And then there's a right. a certain period of time, like a rest period or whatever. But my question was going to be, uh, do you find that it adds a lot of heat? Yeah, to your grow. Well, obviously, too much, too much. Not too much. My it, it definitely adds heat. Anytime the compressor is running, so it adds heat. <laughs> So yeah, so the problem I'm having. Go ahead. No, no, no. So I was going to say then, and you also have uh, AC or a dehumidifier, both AC and a dehumidifier. And an AC is essentially a dehumidifier. That's why you have to have that. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm asking is like, at what point are you just like they're just battling each other? No, no, they'll help so, each other. The the AC will pull moisture out as well, and it'll also pull the heat out from the dehumidifier. But it's not duplicitous; it's duplicative, bro. Okay, okay. no, it's, it's really the, not. But yes, sir. The portable AC has dual hoses. If you guys ever get one for any row, get the dual hose portable. It has a cooling function yeah. and a cooling slash dehumidifying function. My AC is currently not dehumidifying. It has a little onboard storage tank. That, you know, there's nothing in there, so I have a cooling only function. So I hear you. I could run them both ways, but I think that's the most efficient way to run the AC is the cooling only function. Hey, check this article out. I found this article. It's actually from Psychology Today and the 10 mental health benefits of gardening. And I found like several of these. <clears throat> most of them were total BS. So it's actually kind of cool, man. I identified with some of their reasoning. 
Uh, yeah, I like it. Obviously, research has shown that spending time outside is good for our bodies and minds. I mean, that should be, we don't even need research for that. It's kind of like well, obvious. Thanks. Scroll down to number one. That's what I'm saying. Right off the start, practicing acceptance. Man, I like it. Mess, yeah, when you mess your plants up, you can, that's what I remember people that they, in the very beginning, growers will just try to fix it. Just you try to fix it. You know, okay, I'm going to pour this on there and that on there. And then after a while, you have to accept that that plant is messed up and that it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, to heal. Yeah, this this author is, reference, is saying as far as practicing and acceptance. Because I looked forward to spending time in the garden with my family, but when my four and eight-year-old daughters asked if they could help me harvest the lettuce, I was less than enthusiastic. What if they <laughs> messed up? I, what if they messed up the harvest? That's awesome. No lettuce for you. Then you this is my time. You had to practice moving beyond your perfectionism. Don't you think that's legit, oh, though? Some no, this is yeah, this is great advice. This you're is not all... going to be able to get a perfect harvest, but. You learned something from it. You had a great time hanging out in your grow. Hey, it wasn't the, hey man, this wasn't my favorite strain, you know, but there's another one coming. I accept the fact that sometimes I'm going to, things aren't going to be great all the time, you know? Oh, this one was about a neighbor feud. It said years ago, one of our neighbors had a beautiful garden growing until a neighboring resident sprayed weed killer on a windy day, damaging many of my neighbor's vegetables. Ah, oh, that's a war on, man. That's acceptance like right you're, there. You're, your neighbor that's got pollen outside. <laughs> Num- number Just six has gathered my attention here. Bathing in green. The Japanese expression uh, shur- shurinyoko can oh, be translated yeah. to forest bathing. Uh, do me a favor, Grambo. I've got something about that. The next one. <clears throat> They've got grounding. Are you familiar? You can click to the next uh, article if you want. Just really quick. All right. We can hit back to it. But. Uh, there is something about connecting in nature. And of course, there is a term for it, grounding. Yeah, my roommate, Church of Cannabis Nate, he goes out and takes his shoes off and just sits with his feet touching the dirt almost every day. Well, uh, click the next one then. These are grounding shoes right there. <laughs> oh, my God. What's happening? <laughs> no, this guy just... What's the... Why? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you, nobody can know that you're grounding. Yeah, you're, you know, it's for you. Well, man. it doesn't work it's for on, you. It doesn't work on concrete. It's <laughs> That's all for you. Yeah. It's an insult. I don't think you could be grounding in the city. Is that acceptable if you're grounding on man made material? You got to be grounding. Oh, on. I know what it is. It's so that you can go into the convenience store. No shirt, no ah, shoes, no ah, service, ah, man. Ah, he's painted the shirt on too, man. What the hell? These were good, man. I'm, I'm back to scroll, scrolling this article. Being present was one of them. Are you present in I'm the t- garden? I don't know what I'm at when I'm in the garden. I'm stuck on this. I'm Mindful. Gonna, I gotta, I'm going to Google this. I got to get more into Shurinyuku. Deal. Deal. I think it's going into the woods, man. The Japanese got some cool stuff. I think I have a book. It's called like Ikiga, I- Ikagi or something like that. And it is a celebration of imperfection. Yeah. The the idea that you're more beautiful for having been broken and repaired than you were. Or originally. just like a flaw. Yeah. You know what I mean? Flaws are beautiful. Yeah. That's interesting stuff, man. And you are right. Forest hey. baby. What it is and where to do it. And by the way, if grounding wasn't annoying enough, a plant parent... And are we plant parroting now? Lonely? Research says being a plant parent is an idea worth watering. That, that's how oh, dare they. That is terrible, sir. <laughs> this is for physical, physical exercise and gardening. I like it. This is moving your body regular is an effective way to boost mood and lower anxiety. And even when it says, when I do my weeding, I'm on my belly and on my butt. Laying on my side, doing a lot of things you probably do in yoga class. This dude weeds on his belly. That's intense. Looking out, seeing your neighbor on their belly, <laughs> weeding. Yeah. Around. Dude, I wonder what happens if my neighbor looks out at the wrong time, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> screw like you for judging me. <laughs> That's funny. We we'll It's in the next one. It's, it's under grounding. Oh, what the hell does that Grambo? You found it, huh? Mm. Is this you? Was that? Oh my God. I thought that said when I was at my wedding. Oh. I was on my belly and my butt. And I was like, dude, <laughs> when me. I do my weeding, I'm on my belly and my butt. Okay, man. Oh. Lying on my side. That's weird. I just bent down. Well, maybe kneel or something, you know? Eating healthfully. Why would you be on your butt when you're, oh, sitting down? Okay, I get it, man. Pruning your trees. It's just laying backwards. Your bushes, eating. you know? That sounds great, man. It, 
does sound relaxing. Don't I used to have a neighbor that loved mowing the lawn. <laughs> I don't know if he had the best relationship or not, but he would be out there like every two days mowing his lawn. My best friend's dad was like one of those people. Yeah. Like competitive lawn guy. It's awesome. Yeah, they do have that. In America, we have speed lawn mowing competitions. All right. You get angry if you had the tennis ball or the hockey puck on it. Hey, man, I asked ChatGPT if plants get lonely and it actually gave me a decent answer. (laughs) All right. It said plants... Plants don't experience emotion or feelings in the same way that humans or animals do, so they don't feel loneliness as we understand it. However, plants do respond to their environment and interact with organisms, including other plants. Imagine this being like in a robot voice and just asking your robot in five years, (laughs) do plants get lonely, robot assistant? Plants communicate with each other through chemical signals, such as releasing volatile organic compounds while under attack by pests or pathogens. So they are sending signals out, not the same way we do. Uh, They also interact with other organisms like fungi and bacteria in a complex symbiotic relationship. And here's the best. While plants don't feel loneliness, they do benefit from being part of a community. In natural settings, plants can form interconnected root systems, share resources like water and nutrients, and even engage in cooperative behavior. So while they may not experience loneliness... Plants do benefit from social interaction and connect things with other organisms in their environment. It's so messed up that the best answer was from a computer. <laughs> it was about loneliness. It's funny. On that subject, that's just uh, this level of AI has been out for a year and a half. Everyone's so worried about it. Is anything different now? Like, we've done this for a year. Like, I don't think anything is. Yeah, there I, is. I got a great answer from <laughs> by just yelling something into my phone. Other than it's a very sophisticated search engine. Yeah. You know, the robot's coming next, right? Uh, That's. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just uh, it's it, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole, but it's just dangerous to what to know what is real. Yes. I was just, yes with Grambo about before the show about some deep fake. Rip off scam that made millions with how easy to deep fake yeah, yeah. people like this in a Zoom meeting or whatever. Like, am I really talking to Scotty? Right I had now? a, a what, you know, you get those like really BS ads on your phone from like just the most random things on right. earth. It was Mr. Beast in in his voice hawking like, you would love this Sudoku game. It's so good for you. It's like, dude, they just deep. It was the first time I saw it. Real ad, hundred percent deep wow. fake, Mr. Beast. It, it photo real. I, it almost fooled me for a second. Only the fact that he wouldn't do that cued me into that it was fake. That's so cool. We can do anything we want now. And just yell, <laughs> deep fake, man. <laughs> deep fake. Taking it back to, <laughs> yes, it back to talking to plants. Because this article is titled, Talking to Plants. Can plants hear us and is there an impact? Well, yes, there is. I don't know how scientific this is, but they put headphones around 10 tomato plants. Mm-hmm. And eight, no, eight had headphones. And there's 10 plants. That's interesting. Why would they do eight with headphones and there's 10 plants total? That's anyway, over the course of months. We gotta have a good, uh, the control control, control group. Mm. The control group. The plants Her would be read scientific and literally tech literary text by both male and female voices each day. By the end of the mo- month, the results concluded that the plants that were read to grew more, and especially the ones read to by female voices, Scotty, grew one inch more. <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm make I'm not making the joke. No, it's too easy. <laughs> it already made it so, so. yes. Makes me sound like I have to get my wife in the garden. I can age you in the garden just to read for a little bit. Just talk to him yeah, a little right. bit, okay? Damn, dude is changing. He wants every little, he wants Jaren weed, huh? <laughs> All right. All right. He's been yeah, hanging out with Remo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, I saw this one. This was an experiment that uh, Monica Gagliano did a long time ago. I don't know if this is the same one, but plants can distinguish when touch starts and stops. And uh, I remember back, they put like a glowing gene. They actually inserted a gene that was glow when it was touched. And it was uh, something like calcium. I can't remember. It explains it in here. But the calcium would uh, get excited and it would glow. It was pretty neat, man. And you could see that when they were touched, not only Venus flytraps and mimosas, but when a lot of these plants were touched, man, there was a reaction that went on, a legit reaction. These mm. stories are stimulating. Uh, yeah, you can see the wave propagate out. That's fascinating. No touching. What about what about smell? Can they smell? I'm, I'm, I was st- reading that yeah. they genetically can have the defenses to things in, in their environment that have happened over you know thousands of years. So I'm like, 
hmm, how can I use that as a grower? Like, should I put some deer piss in my, my grow? <laughs> that, that, that makes them scared. And they put out more resin, potentially, more dank. Keeps it, the bunnies away. Yeah. You know, it's true. I was looking for something when I first got my nursery to keep the rabbits out. And I'm just staring at the wall of things I have no idea. And what I ended up buying was deer's blood. <laughs> And you just put deer's <laughs> blood all over your perimeter and it doesn't. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm staying away from that place, man. Yeah. I do want to comment on a uh, uh, banner. I just said, uh, I think you were saying you should go hang with Ramo or smoke. Shout out to Ray- Ramo, a neighbor of mine. And I haven't hung out in a while. And he does marijuana Mondays and they roll a big fatty. And I literally watched the last one and evaluated how big of a joint he rolled. And if I could hang the whole time. Because you've got to hang for the whole day and you wow. can't be faking it and you get ripped, man. And so it's just uh, for me, it, I know you got to be in the 10 out of 10 tolerance. Is it just flour or is it got like a snake in there too? Just flour. Just oh, okay. yeah, you got to watch those snakes. <laughs> you got to watch out for snakes, man. So a snake, you'll bite you. Snake, you'll bite you. All right. right. Good. No Let's good. take care of some good, good business, man. Yes, I got sir. a cool comment here, Scotty, for a shout out to Real Growers. Yes, I do, man. And uh, this is, you know me, you know me, 50, 65, 78. Says, thanks, guys. Great show. Grow Dots and Recharge is the way to go. You think he meant to rhyme that? Uh, hey, guys. Yeah, it's good show. Yeah, it's great good. show. All right. Rap uh, I have no. I was going to try to rap it. I decided <laughs> against it. I have, no, I have no complaints at all. The only thing is the Grow Dots make me feel like I'm missing out on neglecting my plants. Because I no longer have to feed the plants or keep track of the feeding schedule. Oh, I don't have to hang out in the grow anymore, man. It's just what we were talking about. Uh, I just ordered Canatrol Cool Cure and a bud trimmer to make it even better and easier on my spine. Now you don't have to go check them while they're drying every four hours. No, time. It's interesting, though, serious. right? We haven't touched on that in a minute. I've been thinking about Let us know in the comments on trimmers, guys. I know AC Infinity has the bowl. Like spinny one, mm. uh, my buddy uh, uses. He has a, you know, he just has too much work to do. He's got sixteen lights. So what he does oh, is he'll do the lights? not to completely the shake bag, where like you shake this bag and it knocks off the dry leaves. And he doesn't do it. He only does it for a certain you say amount trichomes? of time. I know you're you're saying <laughs> <Trichomes? laughs> yes. Yeah, so you have some Sorry. some trichome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you might have to do. That's not but cool. But I'm curious. Man. What you, Look at Banner. You've heard you guys Banner, use. man. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Dude, these, these are the, that's the move. A uh, trim party is easy. Everybody gets a handful of weed when they leave, man. But what if you have no friends? Dude, you can say that it's and true. Vader can and be hurt, on. but if I were to show you a bag of the bud that was done hand trimmed and trim bag, he uses both techniques. He finishes with the hand trim, the trim bag to get the process started. You'd be like, that is fire. I love it. Let's smoke it. Look at all the trikes. So if there's enough trikes for some to be lost in the process and you're just, People can't just trim for like it's him and his wife on a 16 lighter. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. Baller. You know, that's give us comments. Let us know. I'm just curious about tricks on on a trimming or if there's any uh specifically those bowl things. I've never used one um that you rotate wow. around in there. And I hear you, hand trimming is the best. I'm not gonna argue with you there. If you have I'm, the means and time. I'm just sad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding <laughs> with you, man. I don't know, man, who works so hard to get these things in the uh, I actually, I'll, I'll show you. I don't think we'll get in trouble for it, but I have a picture of a trichome coming up uh, on social media, and you'll just see how uh, delicate they are. And uh, it's a stalk with a giant globe. It looks like a glass globe. So, come on. I mean, uh, damn, I keep on wanting to pull it up just to show you. I'm scared to even trim it. I feel like the dividing line is like you're going to do it for yourself for sure. Yeah. And then whether or not you have enough time and energy and strength to do it for, that's a lot. There you go. Thank you, Grambo. We can probably get away with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at the delicacy of those things, man. Did you guys see the video that was going around of the guy using the the robotic arm to pierce the trichome head? And no, it, that's awesome. It, yeah, and it squirts out oil. They're like, some people are like, oh, I thought they were solid. No, they're the, the thinnest little cuticle membrane just filled with all those VOC oils. Yeah, so I'm all about being really gentle, but I'm very yeah. guilty of using a trim machine when I had 20 lights going. So I get it. I'm just so far removed. All my friends are so far removed from growing that way. We get a can troll too. This can troll thing you got the cool cure. It sounds like a enough. Oh, sorry, another DDC producer is using one of those. It's just not big enough for my application. And they do make commercial ones. This is a unit, guys. You can put like your butt in. 
looks like a wine fridge and keeps it at the perfect humidity and temperature the whole time. Uh, so it takes out a lot of the guesswork. But I do want to transition here because we had some good banners been having fun over on Patreon. Um, and yeah. we have some funny uh, posts, some good comments here. I do want to shout out a few DDC producers first. So I'm going to give it up to Tangy Drip. <laughs> going on. Tangy Drip. Oh, the hell does that see mean, a doctor, man. Tangy Drip. Tangy what the drip. hell does that mean? I, got, I had the Tangy Drip once. Yeah, I ain't oh, giving it up God. to the Tangy Drip. Man, it's a right? delicious That's clothing. On you. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of anything but like orange tang and goodness from like a bud or resin. You guys are gross. <laughs> All right. We Americans think oh. differently, dude. Oh, okay. You could mix those three up, Grambo. If you mixed all three of those up, could you make the best sentence ever? (laughs) Maybe. Gardner. Boy, that's a good Gardner idea for the game show. Got the tangy drip from Blue Blue Kiss Gardens. What do you think? (laughs) Oh, you'll get the tangy drip. Oh, you must have the Blue Kiss. Shout out to you, Blue Kiss. No, and a Gardner for 20. If you haven't been paying attention, every time we make new posts over on Patreon, you get emailed. Um, Banner's been having some fun over there, hooking up genetics. Uh, don't forget the DDC Cups, June 1st. DDC produces 25% off that, and you can check. I'm not sure Banner had opened up some more VIP and VIP competitor and competitor tickets, I believe. There's access codes for you to get to those if you are a producer. So go to dudegrows.com forward slash support, and let's cover some of these. Just a Hang on comments. one second. One... Just real sad. Yeah. One sec, because we're talking about Banner with uh, uh, Patreon. Uh, giving away seeds is great. We've always been doing that. You've been playing around and asking a bunch of questions and getting a bunch of making a bunch of posts and getting good comments. What was the one you did today as a favorite? What was it? Favorite quotes or something? Yeah, there's a, well, there's a few. There's a, yeah, your favorite dude grow show quote. Yeah. There's some really good ones that came out of that. Yeah. Yeah. There was some good stuff, man. What was some of you can think of, man? Uh, gas. They like when I say gas. I have a bunch. Cut it in half and double it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's our hard and thick there, man. I just stole that from him. <laughs> Let's cover some of them in the after show as well. I know one of them was about Scotty saying, uh, I love it when Scotty says, like, this isn't a shameless plug for recharge. <laughs> it was good. I got a few here because this shameless one was about for recharge. A name. And we didn't say earlier, go to realgrowers.com. That's where you get your dots and your recharge. All right. Um, out, make growing easy. Uh, so this is about Banner's Post name or create a sticker or a slogan that says, I grow weed without saying. I grow grow weed. weed. That's a good one. So there's, dude, there's like 140 something comments. I went through them and just a ton of good ones. I picked out six here. These are for packs of Irie guys. I'll hit you up on Patreon to get your shipping information. So tell me what you think of these. This this tent ain't for camping says, Mm -hmm. well, what? I like that. That's that's a classic. That's a classic. Uh, I'll I'll take it. What do you think, Scotty? Good enough? Hang on. Smoke what? Because people be like, be like, hey man, do you smoke? Yeah, there you go. And go. You did it. Smoke what? Oh, I get it. Man. In the back, cigarettes. It, so you go. Oh, yeah. You know what's the saddest thing? Is that's my quote. Man. Yeah. <laughs> do you smoke oh, cigarettes? Right. Written house. Written house coming in and says, I, "I think we need to make this one a sticker." We'll give it up to one eyed cultivating green dream. So, and also, hey, also has Will Run Seeds next up. So, man, I'm going to take you up on that written house. We'll get you some Irie. I like the cultivating green dreams. I think we're going to have to do a DVC sticker that says that. Yeah, that is pretty cool, man. You kind of know you're a grower. If you pull up, he's a grower, right? If you pull up and a bumper sticker says cultivating green dreams, that means you're a grower without saying I'm a grower. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna you roll down the window anymore, and you're like, hey, man, what are you smoking on? Ah, that's pretty cool. That is. How about this cool. next one from Illegal G? Maybe a sticker as well. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm a florist. That's <laughs> <laughs> not bad at all, man. Ooh, that sounds like something you would say. <laughs> Pro tip to set up your trap business, man. Um, this, I'm giving for yeah. a t shirt from Rose Buds. More Irie for you, buddy. It says, my PPFD is so bright, I got to wear shades. So yeah. only a girl. Get that, right? <laughs> yeah. Or you, Lewis. I want to make a, here, here's a shirt for you. It says, PPFD's nuts. <laughs> hey, how's there a real company called These Nuts, man? Because that's just great marketing. <laughs> Dude, when I get on yes. the airplane, they're advertising These Nuts, and it's got like Grandma D. Because we live in idiocracy now. We do. You know? um, I Try our the big way. ass talk. There, hold on. <laughs> two more. Two more. I'll keep them quick because there are so many good ones. Sticky Icky 024, because I have been here. Are those extension cords running through your house? 
<laughs> I had to hide an extension cord running through my guest bedroom one time. I didn't really had a guest. It was actually my wife's brother. And we're like, are we going to explain to him that I, it was pretty illegal at the time that I have a grow room because there's an extension cord running right across his doorway in his room for no apparent reason. <laughs> <laughs> put a rug, no. a rug over there's it. There's an outlet Just that's broken. It. Like, <laughs> you had a broken outlet, man. <laughs> and one more sticker here, because I think all of us would get this from Chauncey Gardenier is 18.6. 1212. What do you got? Yeah, yeah, that's a good That is an excellent one. That's a yeah. signal received loud and clear on that one. <laughs> yeah, ask that. Thanks for making the comments, producers. Those seeds, I'll hit you up on Patreon. I'll send you a message. And everybody else, you want to get in on this action, dudegirls.com forward slash support, man. It's more than just a support. It's coming part, becoming part of the community and making this show happen for almost 10 years now, baby. 10 years in April. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you can't support us with a $10 a month, support us with our sponsors, man. Like these nuts. Go to use some of these nuts, man. <laughs> or now, join the website and post something. So they do, they're available at Walmart. What a, dude, like, what's happening here? I love this hot this cheddar is logo. Idiocracy, so right? That's what's happening here. <laughs> you know, there's also oh. the numb nuts, right? No, but just I quit, man. All right. The no, no, it's weird. also good. Banner is ridiculous. And please, right. uh, Banner just mentioned dudegrows.com. If you want to sign up over there, the invite code is strength dependent and break the stoner stereotype and spell it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma yeah. was like, dude, people are needing are not getting in. Something's broken. And then I, just, I sent him oh. a screenshot to prove my point. Ah. And he's like, Grandma, you're illiterate. There's, so, a, there's an oh, E Banner, independent. Banner we yell things at our phone, all right? You don't have to spell anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay back to the show that was if we've gone anywhere what else did you find here scott we got some market reports full of prohibition yeah man i hate to to get all heavy but this was something me and banner were talking about and i wanted to talk about it because it is bs we give so many so much taxes it's a multi-billion dollar oh grandpa scroll down <laughs> there you go it's ridiculous, right? Yeah. Uh, we give so many taxes, and I was like, "All right, man, we should have go good schools, man. The taxes for cannabis, and it, none of it goes to the schools." I, the first thing I saw was the marijuana taxes go to the schools, uh, but probably not the way you think they do. They go to all these like construction projects and development deals, and all this stuff that just pays everybody but the teachers. Everybody but the, the people that are actually going to uh, uh, show up at the school every day, man. 15% so excise tax. Yes, sir. I was just uh, going to comment on that. Um, it says that for, or the, the money goes into schools, um, the money that plays teachers and keeps the lights on. Instead, the money can fund some maintenance. So this is what it does do. Maintenance, construction, and on a smaller scale, anti-bullying. That's important. Literacy and dropout prevention and some health school health professional programs. I hear the teacher salary should be number one. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the reason I got into this is because, uh, shoot, where is it, man? See how oh, Colorado. Yeah. Do this next one. Click on this next one, man. Right here. Yeah. It's insane. I right, thank you, Grambo. You found this image. That's the teacher's housing. They want to make. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, <laughs> that's not cool. Teachers have a hard I'm kind of curious if they can't show you the whole thing. Yeah, right. Like they only show you the end of like four units. And nor do they show you the inside. <laughs> yeah. And that door looks really small, doesn't it? It's just, come on, man. And the average salary for teachers, they say, is 47 grand. I looked up the uh, cost of living in uh, Colorado Springs. It's like 57 grand minimum you have to make just to live. So it's like, come on, man. And oh, we got all this oh. millions and hundreds of million dollars worth of tax revenue from cannabis coming in. You can't pay the teachers a living wage. All right, I'm off Dude, my These houses, Scotty, are going to be, so they're building 20 of them on an acre and they're 352 square feet duplexes. So does that mean that in 352 square feet, there's going to be Two places to that, live? That's just that's, weird. Dude, that's the size wow. of my 352 grow. square feet. Rude. That's the size of my grow. Duplexes. That's just good catch, dude. Inappropriate. How dare you guys? It's anyway. insulting, man. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's just insulting. All right. It is. It is. It it is especially for a show. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm being insulted and offended and outraged. <laughs> We're just rabble rousing. Rabble, 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 rabble. I tell you what, I will change the subject. There's all sorts of stuff going on. This guy showed up in my YouTube, Grambo. It is, uh, man, who is this guy? 
Oh yeah, Arizona. He's t- uh, promoting the Arizona micro licenses, mm. and uh, I trust that guy. There's so many people you look at him, you're like, they don't smoke weed. <laughs> that guy smokes, all what right. Is <laughs> what is that? What does micro licenses mean? Uh, up to 150 plants, and you can sell your own product. Oh, really? like farmer market style? Yeah, yeah more or less, or you know, more like free market style. <laughs> wow, Arizona just got cooler. Yeah, well, they're making it so. I, I mean, he's politicking for it it's not there yet but <laughs> i like that idea yeah it's very cool i'm calling the i'm calling it the arizona free market cannabis hb 2747 it allows for unlimited micro licenses that legalize up to 150 plants per license holder and lets you sell directly to the consumer we need people to show up in support at the regulatory affairs committee at the capitol hearing on february 7th sorry bro <laughs> that's stoner stereotype isn't it man a couple that's days t- ago yeah yeah that's crazy uh at 2 p.m uh we also meet, need people to sign up as all right well um safer arizona go uh go check this out seems really interesting hey cool idea though yeah right right Ooh. um though potentially you know how it's gonna scare her. which yeah, i agree with where can they do that and they do that in their house. I won't really necessarily want to allow that per se, if I'm the person making the rules. Um, or does it have to be a room of a certain amount of square feet with proper Dude, ventilation and odor control installed? Hang on, I gotta What's pop that? in and say if I could do something where I didn't have to worry about plant count and I could veg small plants like a screen of green, maybe I wouldn't do that personally, but it's a hell of a good strategy growing plants that are this small, but keeping them in one or just in three gallons and popping them right close together. Well, uh, okay. So this sounded really cool. And then as I'm thinking, sitting here, I'm thinking like, but why do we need a license to do this? Why can't we just do so it? So you can pay taxes on it. <laughs> but it's just, how are they going to do that? I guess if you're, t- you'd have to be taking electronic transactions, maybe. Jeez. I didn't think about the how. I, just I don't know. It, it just cool. seems like we're trying to reinvent the free market cannabis scene. We know with, we're trying to but with it. But with like just unnecessary extra hurdles. Like just let it go, man. Who cares? It's because fine. anybody that's no, anybody no, that's not people. Wanted, yes, sir. Uh, here, mean, anybody that wants to sell 150 plants worth of cannabis is probably i don't know i wouldn't say they won't sign up for this because people do like not having the criminal factor or potential fines or whatever over their head but uh, a lot of people if you're gonna have to pay taxes you're probably gonna have to pay an annual fee there's gonna be some crazy rules and let us know listeners i just searched this cannabis hb and uh for 2247 for arizona i didn't find any news i'm curious if this did pass or if it's on the ballot now or whatever happened with this right. us in the loop yeah very interesting i'm a hundred percent for it i hate having a plant counts just silly yeah. I have a question. Yes, and what do you want? Base? What, what is the premise for like having to have a tax other than just obvious greed? What is the rationale for taxing cannabis specifically? For example, we don't tax milk. Right. Well, yeah. Why do we need to tax cannabis specifically? Why is Because that- it's a cash cow right now. People are willing to pay so much. Do you agree that it's just a completely arbitrary bullshit cash grab? Because we made a bad deal. We were so happy to just not go to jail for an eighth of weed anymore. I went to jail for an eighth of weed back in the early 90s. I was so happy to not have that happen. I was willing to make a bad deal. Yeah. That variable was so important to me. I was willing to forego a whole bunch of other variables just to get it legal. Just yeah. to have to get pulled over and go to jail. And then notice notice how it's come full circle now with your article before about how, oh yeah, hey, it'll be great, man. We'll collect taxes and then we'll we'll get we'll it'll pay for schools, right? Yep. Your kids will be smarter. And then well, it didn't no. really didn't really work out that no, way, did it? It didn't. It didn't, man. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was a little dose of reality and uh Hopefully it was an interesting conversation. I'm fired up now. Oh, man, good. <laughs> they say it goes to roads and schools. I will say in Denver, it is going towards uh, the roads. Over a weekend, they moved the interstate by like 80 feet and built an underground tunnel. And so like it, the, it was just closed. It's like, oh, the interstate's closed from Friday to Sunday. When you go to drive, all of a sudden there's a tunnel. Yeah. It was a big elevated interstate. Now it's underground. It's like they spent like $3 billion in a weekend. So it's like, all right, I guess. Maybe the schools are F, but the roads are good. Yeah. The children build that tunnel. <laughs> oh, okay. no. You got to get oh, the no. trucks through, bro. Just a poor teacher shoveling That's coal. not about Denver. Yes. That's about the inner. Tiny Tim built that, all right? Yes, sir. May I have some cannabis all tax? All right, man. All right. <laughs> Come on. Let's have some more producers here. Yes, sir. Uh, producers. 
I don't think you can make any fun here. I got Terp Chaser. What's going on? And Smokey the Bandit. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent Smokey show. Bandit. See, me and Banner are old enough to remember Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, yeah. Grambo, I don't think so, you right? You know I do. BJ and the Bear. You know <laughs> that was a copy. <laughs> oh, man, good stuff, man. Smokey the Bandit and Bayou Boy, 420. How's that weed on the Bayou? Moist. Uh, more. <laughs> Very moist. Yeah, I bet it's a, it's a wild Not to try out. out. Yeah. If you're growing the dank guys, dividends pay tenfold. Scotty's hooking up 30% on real growers. Dots, charge. I got I'm him hip. I abbreviate it all. Charge, uh, dots, charge, charge. What do I in the bucks, man? man. I'm, I'm abbreviating the real buckets to our bucks. Uh, <laughs> we call them we call them cats around here. Call them the ducats, yo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Newgrows.com forward slash support. Uh comments. What'd you find, Scotty? Yeah, this first one. Here you go, man. Caspar Binding, Caspar Binding, 2480 says, please, please, co <laughs> please color your eyebrows back again, dude. And it really said never. Yeah, <laughs> they crossed out. That's Rambo, what was Rambo that? told you not to shave them. It, it was uh, just a, a filter that dude decided like right as we were going on. And it looked really real for it a second. So but real. then the longer it went on, it's like Uncanny Valley. It was weird. Yeah. Man, it was, but they look good. In, uh, I mean, I'm Zoom? dating. I was I wasn't. Not. Yeah, it's in Zoom. <laughs> Zoom studio. It, uh, yeah, that's like when I was recording before. from home. So we had to go a little digital. You can do everything. And Grambo's right. Be careful what you play with. You might want to go back. Is this my real beard right now? Why didn't I have a beard? <laughs> how, uh, that's actually interesting, dude. How many people didn't notice the fake beard? Dude may have had fake eyebrows, but you didn't notice his fake beard. It was almost seamless. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blow your mind. And if you look at me last time, I had a fake beard beard going too. You did. What? You did have a goatee, right? Yep. Yeah, I saw that. A little soul uh, patch here. Easter uh, eggs everywhere. I saw that. She was your own so adventure. Weird, uh, the interview, Banner had done an interview with Soulfire uh, Genetics. I did a shirtless ad for Scenes Here. For their, <laughs> you know, their, their sale, which is a pineapple summer breeze sale yeah. or something. So I was like, you know what? Let's put a beach background. Go shirtless. So then when I saw oh. the screenshot, Rambo had on the last Saturday show with my, uh, I had like makeup on and eyebrows. I'm like, my, oh, my wife, come here and check this out. And she's like, what, are you naked on the internet again? I'm like, oh, no, I'm cross dressing uh, on the internet you, now. You told me you'd stop. You trying dude. to get me naked. <laughs> ah, ah. Good what else stuff, you got, man? Hey, just I uh, um, want to shout out for the last panel show that uh, Mrs. K's World said it. I think my brain grew a size after listening to this episode. Thank you, gentlemen. And Colin from Ethos was excellent. Excellent. Uh, Dr. Christian was excellent. Brad was cool. He was patient enough, man. Dude, those guys were going off, man. Oh, no, I don't know. What, yes. what about that Canadian kid? He probably can't even grow except on paper. It's that that's is, from ATC Pool. How many that? that? Yeah, I mean, they, it everybody have can grow. Come on, that no, is silly. It's not. And my, Smart people can grow good weed. I put it's that on there because I, I appreciate you. I'm sure you're cool. If we were hanging out and just smoking a joint, I would just say to you, "Did you learn anything? Mm. Even if the guy couldn't grow, I don't care. He did so many experiments. He was in so many. You know, with that legit scientific A and B, uh, it's experiments. You know, uh, he got a doctorate in it. There's got to be some value, even if he doesn't sit in his basement all you know how many years. how many amazing sports team coaches never played you know it's just a thing man mm -hmm. a lot of them mike remember all those uh the the bulls won all those championships in the 90s that guy didn't play basketball bill jackson, bill jackson? Played basketball yeah, he's huge so. he's just a coach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. he also had taken that i forgot what it was called i asked him is he's like i also have a, a a google it was like a google manager group manager certification course or something i'm like what is that and i looked at it and he's like oh yeah yeah that's it, it's only like 160 hours online and which i don't know if that's a lot it sounds like a lot to me that's a lot you know you can start to just go to school with google basically Scotty. yeah uh, we need all sorts of of people in this world or i'm sorry in our industry and he's a, a cannabis user Definitely cannabis user. He's not some corporate guy that has no idea about the effects. Yeah, legit medical struggles with Crohn's. Uses yeah. cannabis to manage it. That's legit. As so we get. need advocates like that. We, you know, there's people like us that advocate in bathrobes, and there's people like the, <laughs> the, the safer Arizona guy. You know what I mean? All shapes and 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 sizes, right. and, and colors. You know. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come on. What else, man? Oh, hey. Uh, Guarding 18,000 plant yeah. fetal hunts. Yeah, 6,000. 
Yeah, so we were talking eight that with the breeders regarding eighteen thousand plant feed on steer God and six thousand yeah. square foot mother rooms. That was what Colin from Ethos was talking about. Yeah. Summer Fun 01 says large scale production is the problem, not the solution. Hmm. Yeah, it uh, is crazy. Well, yeah. I mean, why? Pheno hunt, 16 th- or 18,000 plant pheno hunts, not production. That's breeding, right? Yeah, I get uh, yeah, I mean, I the guess, more the yeah. better for breeding. Unless our do plants feel, you know, I, I wouldn't like to do that. Here you go, user TK1. Just imagine a 65,000 square foot room full of either sex, men or women, let alone mothers or fathers. Yes, I'm talking people. <laughs> Plants would be easier to deal with. I th- I'm pretty sure that he's talking about prisons. That's what prison is. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, it is. It is interesting. And yet the teachers get 324 square feet. Ooh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the plan gets more. Plants man. over people. Yeah, it's a nice. Have fun, have fun reminder, guys. Last night, comment, like, subscribe. Grandma's been throwing up some imagery there. Throw it, Grandma. Can you throw it on the fly? Comment, like, subscribe. Help <laughs> grow the show. Hope you're having a good time. And check out our pros list, dudegrows.com forward slash pros. All of our pros are listed there. It's so where you can get coupon codes. Today, I'm going to shout out. I don't have my prop yet, man. I will call it a prop. A can of boost, man. I'm boosting my flowers, Scotty. I remember back in the day, Boost, uh, you've seen that we always made funny of the picture of that security footage at Waiter Grow. It was their most stolen product. Was yeah. a boost. There's a dude yeah. running out with his hood on and a Boost 5 liter because it, you know, it's a, it can be a pretty uh, expensive product <laughs> depending on how you use it. But great flower development, flower additive Boost. It's not a PK Boost. Um, it's basically uh, some show. I can't even say basically. It's, we got to get Cannon Man on here because there's nothing basic about it. But a great flower additive to put in bloom, guys. Check it out. Appropriately named. Uh, ah. Appropriately named Boost. Oh, oh, because people are boosting it. <laughs> ah, Good. that's why they're stealing it. That's hilarious. T- practically oh. telling you to. <laughs> Take it, Scotty. You got a flying with cannabis comment? Oh, yeah. Just Dale's dankness. Uh, <laughs> just do what we talk about it all the time. It is our medicine. It's okay to fly with our medicine. All right. You can tell him Scotty Real said so at the airport. Uh, but I've been telling you they don't really care. And I alleg- uh, Dale's Dankness, I allegedly test, I allegedly test, fly, I allegedly test fly I, with yeah, the cannabis. Yeah. You know what? I need commas or something, <laughs> man. I allegedly test flying with cannabis on a plane. They don't care. I have a pen and some edibles, maybe my carry-on. They opened my bag because of my wife's gel deodorant in the same pocket. <laughs> they looked right at it and zipped it back up, handed it back to me and said, have a nice flight. Especially pens. If they pull out a giant bag of flour because it's next to your wife's you know, deodorant or whatever that they're searching. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I bet you they would ignore it. Maybe it was one of that new deodorant stuff that's like uh, bacteria or whatever. Have you okay. seen that stuff? Uh-uh. Yeah, uh-huh. so like instead of soap that's washing your all your you know yeah it's bacteria stuff off. eating the dirt yeah Whoa. if you had YouTube commercials you would know about these things. oh man yeah, that's funny <laughs> it is awesome YouTube premium baby yeah <laughs> I mean I see they're like because they're marketers they're like you don't skip the commercials uh, you know, that's, that's our education it. sometimes uh, it's reminding me of flying there Scotty I think you've sent me one of these uh, fun YouTube time. Just a little culture recommendation. Just Google. Um, I don't know what you would like. Audio of people where the pilot has died and they have to land the plane. Yeah, like it's pretty crazy. And it, some of the people stay so cool. It's amazing. Oh and I'm like, maybe flying isn't that hard. That's they talk sick. them how to get it down. And- I have seen those, man. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how often does this happen? Is this uh, a regular thing on YouTube, man? Oh my Jeez. god, man! I will tell you that. Uh, my wife got me watching a show yesterday. I never like TV shows. I always roll my eyes on them. And this, she goes, these are two 15 minute episodes and a half hour. You can handle it, man. You can do it. It is called I Love You, But I Lied. And it is on Hulu. At 15 minutes, like seven minutes in, I'm just like, <laughs> you know, like, by the way, I'm sure YouTube will grab this as the thumbnail. But I was just like, dude it was like those are good oh. thumbnails <laughs> it was so sketchy i uh, i recommend it but it'll yeah what's it about just couples breaking up so no like- no like this one guy was an airplane pilot and he flew from chicago to uh indianapolis like three the first three days of the week and then he would uh have four days off 
So he had two completely separate families. Oh, and I've seen of some of those stories. And that is absolutely insane. Who wants to deal with that? And he got busted. And then, but it's within 15 minutes. How is that too. not stressful? It's got to be incredibly stressful, man. But and it's then, just and well then done. Scott told me both of his kids had a wrestling meet at the same school. He had family one and family two. Yeah. And their kids had that uh, wrestling. States, both of them did. Man. Oh, boy. It was, but it took 15 minutes. <laughs> Most of the time in these shows, I'm like, dude, come on. These actors are so bad. Or the writing is so bad. I can't even get into it. I enjoyed this one, man. So I, I recommend I love you, but I lie. Do I need to add to the thumbnail? Do I need to do it too? So we'll, we'll both <laughs> you do a, do a Macaulay Culkin home alone, dude. <laughs> I love it, man. Like give one of these. Oh. I love it. <laughs> there we go. You can have it. Grandma can make <laughs> Go ahead. That, that trichome pick one more time, Grandpa. It's so pretty. Yeah. It is. It's amazing. This uh, there's a new generation of like macro photography going on, like right. Instagram. Like so many people are capturing some ridiculously cool pics. What is that? Is that a regular microscope? Right? It's just a really good microscope. I think it's uh, just turbo macro lens. I think it's an actual what? photograph. Yeah, I think it's probably like a what three hundred mil lens, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Nice. All right, if you scroll down, I have something not so beautiful, man. Oh, Want to see the opposite oh of beautiful? I think I know. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how old am I? Then what happened? That's Sean Penn. That's Spicoli. And how is this the title? Why does Sean Penn look like all three stooges? Because he does. <laughs> hey, Mo. That's not super fair with one photo, though. <laughs> Dude, they must have doctored that up. That is rough, right? He's probably talking or something. It's just an awkward. He looks crying. I think he's crying. Okay. Okay. I think he's like at a funeral or something. Yeah, that is so mean too, right? We're going to take a picture of you and just shovel that. Yeah, let's let Grandma, can we please find Scotty's worst face out of all the video we've been taking? Here, I'll find it. Yeah. There, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, shoot. Hey, man, I, I got something. What would you be? I like biochar. Biochar is cool, right? What if they told you there was a biochar plant going to be a couple miles from your house? Would you be concerned? Would you be psyched for it? Would you Isn't it smokeless? I know. As, no, as in a plantation, not like a biochar plant. Plant, yeah, no, like like this, a factory plants, not like a yeah. Green plant. I would say, I guess it depends. Like, I'm for biochar. Like, we do bamboo biochar. It's awesome. Wood biochar. This is biosolids biochar. Mm. It's coming from the pipe. What's the concern? Sewage. Is it smells? It's smoky. Like, you know what the concern? Oh, hey, air pollution. I, I don't know exactly. The concern for me is that all the messed up stuff that we have in our bodies that become biosolids. There's heavy metals all over the place. There's weird stuff, antibiotics, and that stuff gets transferred into that biochar. You mean you mean stuff from our waste stream that goes yeah. into that? Like the, the heavy, and the antibiotics get killed, but the uh, heavy metals stay in there. There's a lot of drugs that do that. Don't they do that uh, in they, a lot of cities? They, they test, talk about they, that, yeah. They test the uh, water. wastewater. Mm -hmm. It's shady. But uh, yeah, I don't you know. Test, actually, I believe you can test even water in some cities' rivers. That just because that's where you know after it's processed, they do testing just in a, like a major river running through a city, and they can get levels of pharmaceuticals and stuff. Yep. Since I think so they can even narrow it down to specific ones, and that's also how they are testing how bad some I think epidemics were uh, with opioids as well. They can test specific yeah. how much parts per million opioids are in, uh, Same. cities like rivers. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty sure really they similar. find the, the viruses like that too, or they have an estimate. Yeah. Man, I Googled what are biosolids. Biosolids are the nutrient rich. That's interesting. Organic materials resulting from the treatment of domestic stewage. So also it, sterile, by the way. Biochar? No, your effluents. Is all sterile. Your <laughs> I'm serious. Are you drinking your own pino, man? I'm serious. Look it up. Uh, you know what? Effluent is what comes off uh, a uh, septic system, too. And I will tell you that. Well, after place. it gets exposed to the air and the bacteria and stuff in the air, it's not. But when it comes out of you, literally, it is sterile. <laughs> yeah, look it up. I know pee uh, is definitely sterile. Yeah. I didn't know poo was, though. Yeah. Poo. Interesting, man. So anyway, I don't know if I'd be down with a uh, biosolids, biochar plant. Mm, biosolids. But uh, biochar is amazing. <laughs> to be fair, I got an infographic on biochar, Grandpa. Is it this one? 
Uh, no, it's the next one. It's uh, so let's see. Biochar is amazing. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, it, sir. is that tied to New York City waste in some way? I don't know. I mean, that you plant? can make. You know what? I forgot to ask where it was. Like, where are they getting all the biomass huh? from? Hey, but this there is really look at the image. Yeah, this is if you want to see a uh, biochar. If you don't know about it, they take biomass, which I guess you could add sewer sludge to that. But they can take rice hulls. They can take uh, I take bamboo and make it. Eagle uh, kill forests, pine. Yes, hemp, wood chips. Yes, hemp. And what they do, they burn it. But there's not, you know, you need oxygen to burn something for it to combust. They burn it, but with no oxygen, so it chars it. They heat it. Yeah. Oh, without in the absence of oxygen. And yeah, and it crystallizes. Thank you. You're 100 percent right. Um, but take a look. There are still heavy metals in there. There's still contaminants in there. There's also nitrogen and phosphorus, but it's uh so it's you gotta be careful about the source of it. Yeah. Kind of like your worm castings. And of course. Yes, exactly, man. You don't want the heavy metals in there, bro. Uh uh. A little heavy metal, man. Where do you, uh, hey, is there, where does that typically come from? Do you know? Is it like industrial pollution or like where do the heavy metals come from to begin with? I don't with? know. I really don't know. It's a good question. I'm gonna, they, I think some are also just environment, like, you know, they're part of the, they're just present environment. naturally. Soil. Right. Yeah. We got another PhD on, but in defense, in defense of, uh, Sean Penn here. Grandma, I'll just show this guardian image real quick. Just, I don't like to just cold totally a year ago. Okay. Hey, okay. He looks, right? he looks good. He looks, he looks angry. Distinguished. He does look, he seems like he might have a little fire inside him. Grandma, will you let Ricky Bobby in for me, sir? I haven't played the gong in a while. Hey, look, you know, just because I started Googling after that, speaking, will you just click speaking of biosolids? <laughs> speaking of biosolids. <laughs> click that one, sir. And get over here, Mr. H. Oh, Saturday morning. Denver injured in a. Prank. I don't. I don't. Denver man oh, injured no. in a porta potty prank. Oh no! And the man said he injured his back when somebody tipped over the portable toilet he was using in Denver. Oh my god! I know, I know. I'm fifty something years old. I'm not supposed to laugh, but I can't help it. That's still uh, funny. In a honey me, bucket? Right? Oh no! Uh, yeah. honey Getting bucket. trapped in a tipped over honey bucket. Yeah. No way. I'm to sorry. Go. I don't want it to really happen to anybody, but it is funny when you're in. Yeah, it looks right? like Anthony Bourdain, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was cold out, like wintertime. This thing. Oh, shoot. All right. That was the news that I found, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for looking, Scott. I got, man, is I can't tell what's real. Have anymore. you heard of the, the yes. doo doo peeper in Fort Collins? Sorry, had this the porter potty prank remind me of the doo doo peeper. If you haven't heard of them, I'm not going to elaborate. Uh, Google it. Uh, no, I'm not, that my, work. That's... my algo is messed up enough, man. Uh -uh. <laughs> you don't need to Google new do, do, do paper. All right, <laughs> no. well, let's shout out a couple EGC producers here. I'll change it up with that. I'm going to give them up to Hybrid Ohio and Kaz Gnome. What's up, Kaz Gnome? I like Gnome. Yeah. I got a gnome, a garden gnome in my garden. Geo Hunter of the Dankness. I'd watch that. <laughs> I would watch that too, man. HBO's, I'd probably even buy that book. HBO's new series, yeah, Hunter, Hunter of the Dankness. Dankness. That's pretty cool. I do like that. From the producers yeah, thank you, DC producers. As you're hearing this, you only have a couple more days. If you haven't got yourself a Pulse Pro, you get $100 off that. Ooh. Just log into Patreon, scroll down to the post. There's a coupon code to go over to Pulse and hook up with dudes. Favorite gadget of the year, man. Is it too early to have a gadget of the year award for 2024? Do you have to wait a few months? Not when it changes oh, yeah. your whole personality. Oh, yeah. You're a different man, dude. I know. You are different now, dude. You're changing. <laughs> I like you changed, man. Yeah. Flip-flopper. Producer, stay tuned for an after show as well. Uh, but before we do that, Scotty's got some uh, twisted social media make a slap memes. First one's, I'll go with them. First ones grow, man. First ones grow. Is this real, man? Ooh. Uh, uh, Facebook, I think. I think I found this one. Fa yeah. Is this real? Look at this. No need to buy rooting agent. Hmm. Cup of warm Cup water. Of yeah. Okay. Sp spoonful of spoonful. sugar, spoonful of baking soda, and a spoonful of vinegar. Fermented for 48 what? hours, man. What's fermenting? I don't know, bro. Is this real? 
Ooh, Wait, sugar, I, baking soda, and water? That's it? Is this dog really? Here? I mean, I know yeah. some people use aloe for cloning, so exactly. I mean, you know, maybe it has I don't know. I just like in the beginning of the video, her gangster, like, efficiency rooting. She's just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, worth a try, right? Ooh, yeah, I thought it was interesting, Ooh, man. Like, I, All right. no, I don't know about worth the try banner. I need more information on that. I mean, we're getting yeah. real rooty. Hormone has the uh, what hormone's going to be in there? Uh, Dude, is this real? <laughs> Was that real, man? That thing is really this, cool. This is not real. <laughs> Would you, no, it's I bet not they real. never get pulled over either. Would no. you drive in that thing? You can tell that the color on the door is too saturated in the sunlight. It, no, man. Who would drive that thing? I'd drive them for sure. Would you? Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, I'd get pulled over and go to jail, but I'd drive wow. it. I don't need to drive it. <laughs> you change your plates grandma. to will run. And, and so not real. Okay, next one, dude. Not are these real? real? These are cool. Man. Are, they look yeah, real from here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second. I, I swear, I'm no. not doing it for the... No. Is that real? Uh, what, that. that a man wearing ice skates in public could have a girlfriend? <laughs> it, it, it makes your walking like <laughs> double or triple efficient, right? Interesting. So if you could walk at 10 miles an hour. It reminds me when you're in the airport and you're walking on like the conveyor yeah, belt. Yeah, and you're like just. Look, look at that dude there. That. Oh, they're he looks, motorized. He looks like he's forward moonwalking. Man. There you go. There's your airport. Yeah. Do you think that other you know, people would have an suckers. urge to just trip you? I don't know. I would have thought, you know, that this would be unreal, like not real. But wouldn't if you would ask me a year, not a year ago, but like a kid on a battery powered scooter or battery powered skateboard right, or battery right. powered everything. I'd be like, that's not real. That's crazy. Why would you do that? This is kind of, I don't know. People are lazy by nature. So this company's just sold a million of them. Did you notice that it's AI powered? Yeah. I, I don't know what that means. What is happening? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just things, the Facebook auto plays. Who freaking knows? Yeah, this is cool. Come on. YouTube is so good for stoners. <laughs> <laughs> this car. I don't know, but I could watch this for like four hours, man. Go to a car car show and he's gonna make his own Mercedes symbol. Oh, yeah. interesting. <laughs> <Nuh> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just go steal one like everybody else does, all right? They're harder to steal yeah. these days. Is that Mercury? <laughs> uh, that's oh no. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. All right, hey, dude, would you do this, man? Oh, well, first off, check this bike out. Is this real, Grambo? This one? Yeah. Oh, I, uh, I believe they call it an electric unicycle. <laughs> Tell you, if you thought that somebody would Looks ride around on one of those. It's going to look fast. It does look fast. It's so It weird. also does look like a CG rendering. So it looks like a great way to get teeth damage. <laughs> Once that, again. What could possibly go wrong? The, yeah, what happened to your forehead? The text is too white across the band. They call it ambient occlusion, and it should be way darker in here. Really? So, I mean, that's I, a render. Any electric unicycle still needs a tire, right? That doesn't look right. All right, so not real. <laughs> hey, dude, would you park your bike here? Watch this. This has got to be real. This is Japan. <laughs> Watch this. Dude, that's so sick. Dude, this is the way it gets better. Oh, what what the right? hell? No, that's from uh, Star Wars, right? Yeah. This is insane. That is insane. This is real. It's got to be real. Oh That's real. They got fancy ven vending machines that do crazy stuff like that, too. Out by that. That is the world. Are we on a side? <laughs> second, would you park second floor. Bike there? Bicycles. Would you leave your bike there? Your bike, you're attached to your bike. Dude, don't you feel like they'd scratch it, though? No. No. Scratch this. I'm not like that with my bike. I don't do like a ride wrap or any of that. You just ride it raw and let it look real. You know what I'm saying, bro? He's ride it raw. All right, so that's, that's <laughs> the only one that's been real so far, man. Mm, I, Grambo, have, I have my doubts. Grambo, yes or no? Man. I got my doubts. That is so cool. I don't care. That is such a cool idea, man. You just got an old abandoned 747. It, you can Little see that. The, that's Tra John Travolta's house. Uh, <laughs> on the windshield, be. you can see the, the side that the, the blue is a little bit darker than this side. So either someone's very, very good at Photoshop or maybe it's real. Ooh, it's so neat, You just right? gave me the idea. I have, I've been thinking about doing a little tiny home or RV Airbnb on my property, right. a little side hustle. But if you had an airplane Airbnb, yeah. you'd sell out, man. Get one that's crashed. They got to be cheap. Right? Yeah. Grandpa's right. If you look at the lighting, so the, the shading would be on the right there. But then look at the stairs. They're all in the light. Oh, mm. It's interesting. Yeah. I don't buy it. it. It's putting off my, my, it's getting too good. It's hard to tell these days. 
It's fair. definitely not real. And I'll say from a horticultural level, all this moss and plant material growing right around these, this only, like that's, yeah, that's not real. I can tell just from my horticultural experience. Plants don't grow like that, man. So nope. I thought it was cool. Don't and, and the, the weighing cool. over here where there's just like, what's with this like strip of green that's the exact same length and width as the wing? This is an AI. This isn't even Photoshop. All right. Well, I thought it was fun enough to share anyway. I'm not mad that that's not real, okay? Me neither. No, that's inspiring. I like it. Uh, it th- this can't be real, right? Two-year-old British boy is youngest ever to reach Everest ba- camp, base camp. Yeah, that's uh, Everest. Your role to climbing Everest now is not the same as it was in yesteryear. It's pretty figured. Can, can you get choppered up there? Ever? You could, yes. Two-year-olds. Pretty sure. Can you get a helicopter up to the base camp now? I went to drop off my four year old daughter at school and one of her playmates walked up and he's just like, like started like talking. And I realized I was like, this kid is more of a man than I am already. Already. Oh, literally. He's, he's, he's carried up. He's carried <laughs> up by his dad on his back. So, of Who course, knows? I mean, sure, it's really didn't. His dad carried him the whole way. So it, wait, it does say not to climb to base camp. It says to reach base camp. You can reach base camp in a helicopter, right? The question is why. I don't know. Because you're too selfish and you, yeah. you have to do Everest. That's a have, great catch. A this might be the most important lesson of the Dude Grow Show today. Pay attention to the wording. Scott figured out exactly. Rich it did not say he, he did not climb. He reached. Reached face camp. Very insightful, Scott. Uh, <laughs> could, probably wrong, too, but whatever. <laughs> Hey, do me a favor. Dude was busting my balls on the phone about not. He's like, can you do a pull up? And I was like, I don't know. Probably. Maybe. And dude's like, you got to be able to lift your own weight, man. And so can you do this, dude? Oh, my God. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Does he have a wrist? Yeah, that was disturbing. Is this what, oh my God. Wrist, is this what right? male pole dancing is like? <laughs> <laughs> oh Women get a way better show than we do. Nah, only at the... Bro, I mean, how do you make your know. arm twist, your wrist twist That's like so that? so weird, right? Mm. I don't know. No, what I like is his use of his resources and his community. When people say, I can't, I don't have anything to work out with. Right. Like, he's going around to parks and jamming it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can go wrong there, man. That's meant for elementary school kids, you know? Uh, I want to give this guy my phone uh, number. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> no, I bet you do. Just, I'm going to play his abs like a washboard bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, All right. Hey, dude, I feel bad, but did you guys hear about Hootie? Yeah. No way. Hootie led police on a low speed car. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Geez. Like the Hootie? The Hootie. Nuh-uh. No. Yeah, he got in a golf cart chase with the cops, and there's a picture. He's getting pulled over in a golf cart, oh, and he's my. running in a golf cart. I don't. The know. idea of trying to escape on a golf cart is hilarious. Uh, is it? That's real, right? It's not. So, so you up. see this photo here? No. He's wearing a black shirt. So what they did is you, they keyed out the blue, just like it's a blue screen. You can see the halo line mat around his face. That's- this is Madhouse Magazine, man. They're all <laughs> reputable. Our, our, our real or fake streak is not good today. We, we got a lot of fun. These are, these are challenging today. <laughs> How about the next Hold on. We have info, though, yes. Rambo. Hootie crashed the cart into a water hole, then continued on foot, attempting to create an escape by using his head to bust through a vinyl fence. This this story hey, has to be true. In all fairness, man, you're supposed to get trashed when you play golf. If he was playing golf, he has a uh, a legitimate reason. Does Hootie hit the hooch? I don't know, man. He does not. This you is, sure? This is you no. Sure? This is faker. This, day and age? this is faker than my abs. <laughs> all right, we've not done, dude. The internet is tough. Now this days. one's real. That one is crazy weird, right? Yes. This is the <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite definitely was at the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's Napoleon Dynamite. And what's his name? Taylor Swift. Taylor, that's Taylor Swift, yeah, right? Deep faked into Dynamite. <laughs> it is so odd, man. You can't believe anything you see anymore. Mm. Yes. That's very good. Wow. Wow. Making fun of her lips. So nothing's real, right? Nothing's Nothing. Real. None of those are real. I have something. I still believe what you see in the real world for now. Yes. For now. Hey, bro, I have something real. <laughs> For now. <laughs> All right. The last thing, man, is who's your favorite wrestler? I mean, he might be on screen right now. But Ric Flair, right? I know he's my dad's favorite Did you wrestler. play a little bit, man. He's so good. I am a Ric Flair, a president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. In the day, bro, I'd made a pie. 
this feeling. That's my favorite rick right there. It keeps getting darker and darker. Bischoff! You turn the camera off. <laughs> All right. So I got news, man. I got news. So he's got like a weed brand now and is actively doing social media. <laughs> and I have contacted him about coming to the DGC Cup. Man. Uh, yeah, I want to know his price. He has some serious. I will skin throw paint. in. I, will, I know we'll get a bunch of people to throw in to get him to show up. Right. <laughs> he said. Yeah. OK. So if you see any posts on social media, you got to join in, mm-hmm. man. Well, you guys got anybody you would want to come to the DGC Cup? Somebody famous? Iron Sheik. Yeah, she. I don't think he's around. I don't think he is. No, he, he is. Still. I follow him on I Twitter. will humble you. I follow him on Twitter, and his mm-hmm. Twitter is just like, he talks as the Iron Sheik, and he'll talk about American politics. He'll be like, Joe Biden, jabroni. No, <laughs> just like, really? Yeah. I didn't think he was still alive yeah, anymore, I man. Follow him on Twitter, at the, yeah. at the Iron Sheik. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. He said, wow, that. Uh-oh. Whoa. It'll, you, or, oh. Canada's editing you, dude. Yeah, you're being censored, dude. Yeah, you're being censored Uh-oh. right now. You've been Uh-oh. discovered. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. You know what? Better wrap. Pretty good Are timing, you? man. Mm. Pretty good timing. Hey, this is the last thing, man. Just look at this. This is what Ric Flair is going to pull up in. What's going on there, man? Did he have nobody to say no to him? Mm-hmm. If that guy encounters a speed bump, <laughs> he's over. <laughs> what? That's like, I'm going to do this, and everybody just let him do it, man. It'll never work. I don't know. I'll show him. It's weird, right? Fast. That's what Ric Flair is going to pull up in, man. Love it. I want to see him drag that for uh, awesome. Am I back? Yeah. Am I oh, back, guys? Am I good? Yes, am you good? are. Yes. yes, you are. So I wanted to say, uh, yeah, stay tuned. There's an after show. We're going to be talking about some of Banner put up a great poll. What's your favorite dude grow show quote? And there's some funny ass ones. So let's have a good time. Uh, I want to show my canopy off. I can't show that in the dang show. So stay tuned for the after show. If you guys are producers, if you're not, go sign up. $10 a month. Dudegrows.com forward slash support. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you, Banner. Have a good weekend. Grambo, Gotti. Let's hang. I'm going to trim some bud and roll a joint, man. <laughs> How many it. fluid gallons of weed do you smoke? Bro? Right. Matter put up, a, I mean, a Grambo put up a timer, man. We're going to see what I can. No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> bud trimming per minute. Man. Go. A contest. <laughs> All right, deal. All right, everybody. Till next time, dude, Grambo, Banner. Yep. Take your easy, brother. <laughs>